So you can see in the document we have two fields to insert author and date. So to begin with, you place your cursor where you want to insert the field. And then from the menu, if you select insert, and then navigate along the ribbon and select quick parts, and then select field. And in the pop-up field window, from the list of field names on the left, if we select author, and new name is the value of your field, the information to enter in your field. So I'm going to enter, use my box, I want to select it as uppercase to format it, and then select OK. Now I can see that first field has been entered. So to enter the second field, again we place the cursor where we want to insert the field. From our insert menu, along the ribbon we select quick parts, and then select field. And from the field names list, we are going to select date. Gives you an option to format your date, so I'm going to select that format, date, month and year. Click OK. You can see it has inserted today's date. Now, we know fields are useful when you want to replace multiple items within your Word document at once or simultaneously. So, to show you how this works, so if I just click outside the small table, press enter or return, and we're going to insert a second table. So imagine a second table was another place inside your document. Perhaps it could be in the header or footer of your Word document. And let's say you had the same parameters displayed. So author and date. So again, what we want to do is to place the cursor where we want to insert our field. Go to our insert menu and scroll along the ribbon to quick parts. Select field. Again, author. Now, except this time, we are not going to enter a new name. Let's go and select uppercase and click OK. Now you can see the use my box value has been entered. That's because we've already entered it on the previous field. So the first instance of your field will be copied down to other instances of your field within your document. Bye-bye.